I, like many others, I've got a ZD21 Kubota with a seat switch that's faulty. I, uh, I just took it out of the uh, Kubota, under the switch, under the switch wire. And this is what I have. This uh, uh, screw actually came out. And this one didn't. So I'm going to have to rebuild the whole inside of this uh, seat. This is just wood. And I'm going to remove all the uh, staples and find out what's going on in there. I don't want to spend a couple of hundred dollars for a piece of rotten wood. Anyway, let's tear into it. So this is the view from above. You get a screwdriver and start undoing these staples. This is all rotten here. So it's going to be need to be replaced anyway. At one stage, this uh, ZD21 was outside and obviously uh, it took some punishment especially on the seat but if I can just either rebuild the seat <clears throat> without spending big bucks for a piece of rotten wood I will certainly do that and hopefully we can do that together and I can save someone else some money. These staples are absolutely rotten. There's nothing but a piece of wood missing corner over here easy enough to to replace that let's let's tear it into some more here's the missing piece over there looks like it's been repaired already at one stage with some wood glue in this uh, corner over here no, it looks like that either was there or was a, a ladder repair. Anyway, let me find out what's going on with this expensive seat and try and work out why it's expensive. I don't want to do any damage while I'm trying to undo this. Let me see if I can just get the whole seat out from inside its cover. Show you what it looks like inside there. It had some sort of fabric glue on the inside there, and there's the cover. Get that dirt out of there. Well, that looks like it'll still work. Put that down there. Is what it looks like on the top some sort of plastic underneath here I'm 
may have to replace this piece of material and glue it down again. Some sort of material glue from the edge. I'm a real cheap guy and I can't see why I should have to pay 200 or 250 dollars for a seat. Tear that back a little more. So I've got the wire coming through the side over here. Easy enough so far. Let me show you what I've got here. So there's the seat. There's the, the hole in the seat. I could glue that back. That says Fountain Brake Company. Let me show you what that says. I don't know if you can read that. Fountain, let me read it to you. This product made in the USA, Pompano Beach, Florida, Fountain Brake Company, protected by US patent. Um, telephone 954, it looks 7535888. That may be a 7835888. And must be some sort of a weight thing in here. I'm going to see if I can pull them, find out if, see it's got like little rivets on here. Those obviously make contact when you're sitting on the seat. And I must have got something rusted or something wet inside there. Anyway, it doesn't work, so let me just have a look at this, see if there's anything else to this. Piece of wood, piece of wood over here, rotten wood over there, easy enough to replace those. Let me see, see if I can tear into this. I think what happens is this thing needs a connection all the time to, to make it work. So let me put a gauge on there. Just a continuity meter. So, nothing there. So some of these things have definitely got something going on. I'm going to see if I can open it. Turn that off. I know everyone wants, wants someone else to do this and not themselves, but I never saw it online. I'll put this thing in a plastic bag again if I can fix it. Got a wire coming in from the side, and that was uh, facing down. So,
Let's open it up. See what we got. So that thing looks like a, a regular edge that's not folded over. So I'm going to see if I can slip this edge, take it out that way, and then just have one edge to replace, one edge to fold down. Alright, so just open that up. Let me mark this so I know what's what's uh, that's bottom. Bottom top top all right I guess this is it looks like two holes in the plastic over here gonna do is I'm just gonna take this protection off here so I can okay looks like it's all glued together as well I don't know if I'll be able to open this thing and then uh Clean these connections that obviously got rusty or wet. I wonder if there's a top and a bottom here. It feels like like little springs in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, nine little springs. is opening up quite easily. Tear that back very gently. Put it like that. So, that's all we've got over here. We've got a connection on the top and a connection on the bottom. A wire on the top, wire on the bottom. And when you're applying pressure, then you're making a connection over there. And then the engine keeps going. I don't know. 
where this thing could become faulty. But I'm going to see if I can maybe take this off, clean the connections between these two things. That's why there's two wires going in, one to the top, one to the bottom. And just make sure that all these connection points are, are clean. And you go from there. Looks like this is glued in over here. Uh, probably just need some fabric glue to uh, get this thing back together. And that's it. Looks like I've got a bit of corrosion on some of these points over here. I'm going to clean that up with some wire wool. See if I can uh, get it back together. Making a good connection. And I'll go from there. I think if I open this thing completely, it may be a little easier for me to get to the bottom. Maybe I don't need to get to the bottom. Let me show you what those things look like. See, they have got a bit of corrosion on there. Let me try and clean that up and see if we can uh, get this to work. I'm going to use a little air tool. Quarter inch die grinder. what I'm going to use a quarter inch die grinder I was just changing this out that's a, a little sandpaper disc on there this is made by uh, Chicago pneumatic let me show you tighten that up that's what it looks like and uh, I think what I'm going to do is that this is quite smooth. This it's quite uh, quite used. Maybe I'll be able to uh, get that to clean up. I'm just working it very slowly on each one and then I'll do the other side as well.
blow some air in there. I don't need to get these from the top as the connection is between the two. So let me test that connection now. Where is my meter? Continuity. Good. So let me test each one of these things. Way different. All right. I'm going to uh, glue this thing back together. Make sure bottom stays bottom, top stays top. And I'm going to make the base again. This looks like a regular piece of wood with a couple of holes cut out for whatever reason. But it is clearly rotten. You know, it's falling apart. I'll just use that as a template, fasten it to uh, another piece of wood. Got some rivets in there. I'll do something with that. And I'll let you know how it looks. Uh, I'm going to use some E6000 silicon to glue the seat back together. Glue the cushion back together. I'm just going to run a bead across there. Exactly how they had it. I got this E6000 on Amazon. And uh, it seems to work really, really well. It's self-leveling silicon. Fighting me here. Make sure that those things are lined up nicely. <coughs> I don't know what all that is from. Probably some sort of uh, um, something to keep it dry or some sort of corrosion resistance to uh, clearly it's not working too well. I don't know if I should put anything on there. I don't want to put anything on there that's going to make it rot any more than it is. All right, let me get that stuff off my finger. Find something I can press down on this thing square so that it's going to stay. Take that off. I don't need that anymore. What could I weight this down with?
takes about 24 hours to dry. I'm just gonna weigh this thing down with a with a weight. Could be anything. Probably need something heavy on there. Couple of old wheels. Want to be sure there's enough weight on that. That's not working too well. Golly. How oh, weight could be so complicated. So let me put this on the ground. Let, let it do its thing. Start working on this. You guys don't need to hang out for that. Just looks like it's a piece of ply, real thin piece of ply. I'm gonna cut this out. I'll have a hole over there for the uh, for the wire and. Um, I think I'll need to replace these other two pieces on here because that's where my uh, threaded uh, nut or my uh, my threaded anchor goes in there. So I'm going to replace this, make a new one, replace those two and put some threaded anchors in there and try and get this thing back together. I was thinking I would make this out of one piece of wood, but it does appear that there are um, wood connectors over here. I don't know if you could see them. Over there, over there, and over there. So, it was that way around. I don't know if they if they had it like that or if it had been repaired by someone else at some time it's looking a little large so I don't know if it's like that for the extra movement of the springs or and you can see those things over there that were holding it all together I don't know why you wouldn't be able to make this out of one piece of wood anyway this is absolutely rotten wet and stinks To 
today I marked this thing out on there I'm just gonna cut these springs out they are under tension so I'm gonna drill it out and clamp it and see how that goes Gonna clean the rust off there a bit. Got most of the rust off there. 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, paint this with some of that rust paint. And then reattach it. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I'll just reattach it right now. I'm just going to put some screws through there from the bottom.
relatively easy way of doing this. Golly. Let me do one at a time. Get it that last bit away. That's good enough. Let me drill that. I can find my drill.
Okay, that is that done. I've manufactured these. I put some little inserts in there. Goes on that side. And that side. And fastens from the bottom. I'm not gonna make these holes over here. It'll just make it weaker. I only had three rivets in there, so I've just replaced it with three uh, no-lock nuts and uh, washers, so that it doesn't pull through from the other side. And I just need to drill that hole. I'm gonna paint this thing black with, just to help seal it, with rust, rust metal protection paint. Anti-rust metal protection pack. And uh, it's from Parkside. Actually got this at uh, uh, Lidl's. Anyway, um, you guys don't need to see me uh, painting this thing, but uh, I will get on painting it. I'll show you what it looks like. 